Hey, it's A-Fall Man. I'm bringing you a Lego haul. Not really. It's Brickzar, but I am bringing you a haul from Lego Shop at Home, a Brick Friday haul. We're also going to answer some bat questions. That's Brickzar answer thingy, if you're new to the game, including should someone under 18 years old open a BrickLink store? What to buy for a 6 to 10 year old kid that is Lego? The kid's not Lego. Buying Lego for a 6 to 10 year old kid. And has anybody ever recognized me as Briggs are in public? So let's get to the haul. We have done some orders from Lego Shop at Home. We got another package. I uh, did a haul yesterday where I had three packages. This is package number four. I did order some things as I'm looking for the cutters. I did order some things intentionally that were not in stock. So I don't know if they're going to send me my free items on those or wait for the items to get in stock. I know I've had a lot shipped. And you may see some deja vu all over again. For instance, we got another brick adjuster set, the Flying Flusher. You know I love toilets. And I do have a back question from somebody about Lego toilets. This one has the porta potty there. But I'm not going to answer that one in this video. Got another turtle set. And this one I realized that it is Shredder's Lair. So this has the older Shredder to go along with the flashback Shredder, which is the free item you get when you buy a turtle set. So we got another one of these, that flashback, I mean the Shredder set down there, that was 20% off. All right, and then I got three more of these. I've lost track of how many of these. You know, I've never even opened one yet, but I know I have plenty of numbers and letters now. All right, and then I got the free Jor-El that you get with a superhero's item, which you say, wait a minute, I didn't see a superhero's item. That's because it was on back order. So they do send them. And I don't remember, I think it was a keychain I might have ordered to get that. And then you get the free ice skating set with that. So this, what we got, and this is different. I don't think I got that in the other. It's a little Bionicle card. It's just a little, like a little postcard size. Uh, advertisement for Bionicle. So that was the Brick Friday haul. I, ha I now have four flashback shredders, four jor and three of the ice skating things that I got for free uh, in those orders. So let's get to the back questions. Um, I'm going to start with the first one, which is the easiest to answer. This is from the Amazing Blue who asked, do you think someone under 18 should open a BrickLink store if they want to? No, 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 no. That's my answer. Now, there are some young ones like Elliot Bricks and Brick Designs who have BrickLink stores, but it's under the supervision of an adult. So it is against the terms of use of BrickLink for someone underage to run a store. So that is my advice and some of us like myself have had problems not only with um, store owners but even buyers that are underage. More often we have the problem with the buyers that are underage so nobody underage should be doing anything with BrickLink other than looking and asking their parents to get the items they want to buy or sell the items they want to sell. So that, I'm pretty sure, I feel strongly about that. So please don't do that. If you're under 18, have your parents do it for you. And if they don't want to do it for you, then you just need to wait. And it doesn't hurt to wait. All right, Banter's Bricks. All the rest of the questions are from Banter's Bricks. And the first one is, and he is, he said it didn't have to be a back question, but it says, this is the first time this has come up for me. My girlfriend told her co-workers I buy and sell Lego. So one of her co-workers said she wanted to buy some presents for her kids. She has no idea what to buy, and I think that the ki her kids are 6 to 10. Any ideas how to sell to someone in that situation? That's... <laughs> I. I can feel the awkwardness in that, and I don't like 
I really don't like doing that. And in fact, I end up usually, when it's people that I face to face, I end up usually selling them stuff that cost or less. Uh, in fact, um, I have had situations where people have asked about buying something and I just gave it to them. <laughs> so I, that's just hard for me, but this might not be, since it's somebody your girlfriend works with, you might not actually see them. Um, and it's tough because, you know, when you're selling, you're in the business of making a profit, and they're like, well, why don't you cut me a deal? <laughs> so, yeah, that's a that's a tricky situation, but just, you know, treat them the way you'd want to be treated. And I don't know, you know, they might not even know what they want to get. So it, probably the best thing you could do is helping them decide perhaps what they could buy or what would be a good set for somebody in that age group. And it does vary depending on if it's a boy or a girl and what their interests are. And you, since you probably don't even know the kids, it might be hard for you to judge that. And uh, that's, a, that's a tough question to answer. So leave in your comments below, or my, in my comment section below. Y'all leave your comments. What do you think Banter's Bricks should do? Um, it is, you know, you don't want to feel like you're taking advantage of somebody. And you also want to make sure they get what they want. So it's a good question. All right, next Banter's Bricks question. Has anyone ever recognized you in public as Brigazar? It would be even cooler if you were buying Lego. <laughs> and that's exactly what happened. Uh, the person didn't actually um, tell me when I was in the store. But nobody until this week this past week, nobody has ever mentioned to me that they saw me in public that I can remember. Uh, now, I did go to Brick Fair. I don't count that because people knew I was going there. But I was in a Target store, and the guy left me a, a private message, and he had the details, so I knew it was me. But I had gone into the Target store looking for the minifigure thing, looking for these, and they're all... The, the, the ads are there and so I go in the store and I can't find the set and it's either I thought either it sold out or they hadn't put it out yet so I grabbed one of the few items they had that would that qualified for it which was Milano spaceship which I didn't have I didn't really want to pay, buy a $75 set but I had that and I took it up to the register and I said where are the free items I don't know what you're talking about so it took, and so I go back to the toy section, and they say they got them in the store, but they don't know where they are. They're in the um, the warehouse, and nobody, I mean, after 30 minutes, nobody got them. But anyway, uh, YouTuber Mike Sells Lego, or Mike Sells Bricks, not Mike Sells Lego, Mike Sells Bricks, who also has a BrickLink store, Mike Sells Bricks, uh, sent me the message saw me he saw me with that Milano spaceship so at, at the particular target uh, that I was at so that was the first time and I'll put a link to Mike sells bricks in the description he has a bricklink store so I might be buying from him one day who knows and don't worry Mike I don't um, I do go to that store but the other store that you mentioned that you go to I hardly ever get to that one. Um, even though it's not far <laughs> away from the one I was at, uh, it's just not in my general path that I go a lot. So I'm not going to steal your um, clearance deals you're looking for. Mm -hmm. So how do you, uh, the next question from Banter's Bricks, how do you think sales at places like Target, Walmart have changed since the movie, the Lego movie? Do you see things changing now? Well, you noticed in this haul, I'm getting Lego sets, movie sets on clearance, so... Just like any other Lego set, I think a lot of the movie sets, when they first come out, everybody be buying them up at full price. But if you're patient and you wait, pretty much all of them you'll eventually be able to find on clearance or at some kind of discount. So always be patient. And I do think that YouTube and BrickLink and Brick Picker and things like that has affected the amount of people that are out looking for these clearance deals. So I think it is getting harder. And you got to be work a lot harder to find the deals like big big bricks and brick stackers they get out there and they fight the crowds and they get the awesome hauls uh, that's actually what I was doing a couple of years ago and um, kind of not been in a position to sell so I haven't been out there buying as much as those dudes have but uh, check them out check out everybody I mentioned in this video 
Um, I'll try to remember to put links to it, but you know who I'm talking about. And thanks for the bat questions, Banter Bricks. And the other one was from the Amazing Blue. And that's a haul that should only take in three minutes, but most of it was the bat question. So what are you getting on your Brick Friday hauls? Be sure to post a video on your channel, and we'll look at it. Thanks for watching. It's Briggs Art.